Hey everybody, Felix here. Welcome back to InventBox, where the solution is right around the corner. In this tutorial, we're going to get an LED blinking on the Arduino as a quick way to start familiarizing ourselves with how it works. So there are two steps to this process. First, we need to tell the Arduino that we are configuring the LED pin as a digital output. That means that it will be able to output either 5 volts or 0 volts. 5 volts would be high and 0 volts would be low. Then the second step is to actually tell the Arduino to turn the LED pin high and then low and then high and low to blink it. So for step one, to configure the LED pin as a digital output, that only needs to happen one time. So that can go in the setup function. And we can configure the pin using the Arduino's built-in pin mode function. And we need to give the pin mode function two pieces of information. One is the pin that we want to configure and two input or output. Now every Arduino board has at least one LED that can be configured and and used in your project. The Arduino Uno has one right here labeled L and it's hooked up to pin 13 on the, Ar on the Arduino Uno. It's different on different boards, but because there's always at least that one, they have a generic name for it, all caps LED built in. That will always reference whichever pin your built in LED is on. So in, in our case, it's pin 13, but this will get it regardless of the Arduino you're using. And then we want to set it to be a digital output. Okay, on to step two. Now that we have configured the pin as an output, we can tell it to blink. And that's something that's going to be ongoing as a repetitive process. So that's going to go in loop to be run over and over and over again. First, we need to turn the LED on. So to do that, because it's a digital output pin, we can use the command digital write. And we need to tell it what pin we're talking about and high or low. So we'll just use the LED built-in pin and tell it to go high. So that'll be outputting 5 volts. The LED already has a resistor hooked up to it, so don't worry about frying it. It's perfectly safe, the one that's built in. Then, after we turn it on, we need to delay for an amount of time before we turn it off. Now the number you give this delay function is in milliseconds. So if you want to delay it for half a second, you would put 500 milliseconds. Okay. Next, we want to turn the LED off. So that means we need to write low to that output. And we can just do that like this. And one more time, we need to delay for however long you wish. And so what will happen here is it'll start up here, run setup, configure LED built in, which is pin 13 in this case, as a digital output. Then it will come down to loop 
and right high to pin 13, wait half a second, right low to pin 13, wait half a second, and then it's at the end of loop, so it's gonna start over and write high, wait, low, wait, high, wait, low, wait. And it'll just do that indefinitely. Okay, let's upload this. All right, and you can see that the LED that's built into the Arduino is on for half a second and then off for half a second, blinking. We can also notice it tells us a little bit about how much memory has been used. So we've used 928 bytes of program storage space, which if you've watched the how to choose an Arduino video, that would be the flash memory. And then it tells us the max that we have. And then down here, global variables, which we don't have any, but Arduino has some built in, uses nine bytes, which is 0% of the dynamic memory. And the dynamic memory is SRAM. So we are totally looking good on flash and SRAM so far. Well, congratulations on building your first Arduino program. And stick around for the next tutorial where we'll talk about this LED built-in and other variables and constants.